Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the episode of Coral Island. Last episode, it's the beginning of fall. Um, so we planted a bunch of stuff. Tomorrow we have two birthdays. Um, trying to decide what to do with today. It is a windy day, which I'm going to, it's been probably a week since I filmed anything on the, oops, wrong button. So I don't, um, remember much of what happens. <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't mean to take a week off from filming this. It just kind of happened. But I got into Sandrock, and um, it's where we're at. Mm -hmm. I literally played like um, like, I'm in fall now in Sandrock, so we played a lot, a little lot. I'm thinking today we might. We might get a, uh, um, what do you call it? A, a silo? That might be a thing we do. Um, I might also look into a mill because we need to start working towards the mill to get, um, the bundles done for cooking. Because as per usual, I don't like to buy something if I can do it myself. It is still the same same thing. Um, that has already been offered. Okay. Still nothing with um. We can still do nothing with the fur or the, the, wool. the wool. It's called wool. Uh, so it's going to stay right there. Oh, um, mayonnaise machines. Um, we'll put this in here. I don't know why I wasn't producing anything. That is an oversight of myself. Um. Hmm, I don't know. I was doing one of the things I actually was doing when I uh, wasn't playing was um, I went through all the stuff we've been putting aside for um, the Harvest Festival. Yeah, we stand no chance of winning. According to my edition, I want me to think you need. Trying to think how much you need. I think he gets like 90 something. It's like 96 or 97 is what Bobby's score is. The guy who we saw last episode. Um, That is what his score is. We're in the 70s somewhere. We have like no diversity at all. It's kind of a shame, but... We need to keep some bugs for Eleanor's birthday. We are not going to be able to give her anything she loves. Like is probably what we're going to give her. Um, we still need to do this. This is not a problem. That is not a problem. The Great Blazer is like 1800. So... Um, we have a lot of money. We may go there today and buy it and start that start that going. I needed to donate you, I'm guessing. Yep. Should have looked before I got here, but what do you do? Um, but yeah, even with if I make the honey with the expensive flour. We still don't have enough. 
uh, money for anything. I mean, uh, points for anything in that festival. So, it's kind of a shame. And I went through all the different categories, and yeah, there's really not much we can do to get more points. Other than more diversity, and I'll research it more, because we have, I think, like, another week or two or so, like, week and a half. So I'll research it some more. I'm not ready to give up winning yet. I, I, I've never won, so I'm not holding too much hope that we will win. Uh, this, I think we can give her, too. Oops, I will have to look. I have a list up of things that she likes. She likes a lot of bugs and a lot of the catchables, like fish, that type of stuff. Um, Okay, we're going to start heading up. Someone in the comments told me that I should clear out um, some of the forest area because they're saying uh, I should be getting more harvestables and scavengeables up there. I've never done that and done fine. I will do it. Um, they're saying that I've not, I sh I'm not getting enough scavengeables up in the far north. So I'll clear it. Um, I just, I think RNG is a thing. And that's really it. Ooh, this is what we needed to donate. We are actually going to put, um, we're going to put you him in the, the breeder thing. I normally always get to, just in case we'll breed it. I feel bad. gonna bug me that he's not in the okay there we go <laughs> we're not gonna sell him we're just gonna put him away for a little while um this chest is like such a mosh posh things it's kind of fabulous and annoying at the same time and i kind of live for it scavengeables we're gonna put the horrible smelling thing in here I would prefer these to stack. So we're kind of, we're kind of gonna let these go. I can sell some of this stuff soon. Can't sell the books. Oh, mm, no, mm. I needed the honey for another one of those. So we'll, we'll make that. Okay, we need to continue our round. I am going to, what do I need for the silo? Bum, 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 bum. 20 scrap, 300 stone, 2 resin, and 2,500. I think we have that. 2 resin. Silo, silo, silo. 20 scrap. And 200 stone. 300 stone. Forgot that I had two in my hot bar, but it's fine. You are open. Um, after this, the next thing that I think we need to start working towards is. I would say, um, probably upgrading the coop in the barn, which unfortunately they both need bronze bars. You game, you know I don't like bronze right now. You know it, they know it. And I think this doesn't need to be anywhere fancy. 
Um, that sucks. You can't put things up here. Like that, I really don't like that. It's gonna go somewhere off. I do kind of want it in this corner, but um, whoop. Um, hope that we got a clear. That might be a lot of bronze, actually. That would there was like a a, a vent last night. We're just gonna put it over here for now. I'll move it. Moving these buildings is like 300. I don't mind that. I will accept that loss. Okay, we're gonna clear some stuff. Need to remember where my other trap is. I kind of think it is by the lake. That is what I kind of remember. And then we'll go clear. Um, We will then go clear around the upper area. The forest, that's what it's called, the forest. Okay. Olive wings. Hello. Okay, it's not over here. Oh, it's in the forest. It's in the forest. Noises. I hear noises. Uh oh, they're arguing. Paul, I held on to hope, really did. Thought uh, maybe you'd remember by morning, but here we are past noon and you forgot my birthday. How could you? Oh, poodles. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's great that that's what he calls her. I didn't mean to, I just forgot. Oh no. You just forgot. That's your excuse. We've been married for so long. How am I, how am I not special to you anymore, Paul? Aw. No, it's not like that at all. You're my world. I, I slipped up. I'm truly sorry. Sorry doesn't fix this, Paul. Words are cheap. You're absolutely right, Anne. I've messed up and I'll fix this, I promise. Again, we're the fly on the wall. Poking our nose in situations we don't belong. Well, at least on the positive side, we will get a lot of stuff. Clearing out any part of anything. Um, anything over here? No. Okay, I will have to look at the bugs we have caught and see what is the best for Eleanor tomorrow. So we can give her two things. Cool, I actually needed that. I'm not going to cross it off my list as per usual because I don't think it shows up as caught. Ooh, we're getting close to that. A uh, caught fish, tiger barb. Yeah, so I'm not going to cross it off. We still need to catch it. Wrong button. Harapolois. Uh, Harpolois beetle. I still don't have my um my noises for the garbage cans. He's like about to leave for a while. Thought that was a bug. I'm like, I've never seen a bug. That it's a shadow. The sun peeking through the trees. Yep. Yep.
Yeah, I've been playing so much sand rock. It, and the thing is, it's like I'm taking my good old sweet time and truly enjoying every single moment of it. Like, I am in second week of fall and I still am doing the, um, so a whole month has gone by in game. And I'm still doing the, uh, the bridge. I'm like just holding on to that thing. Just like, eh, you guys get in your water eventually. I am in no hurry to help you. <laughs> Seeing if like the slower pace, if I can, if it still takes the full, I want to see if I can push it to the three years. It's like I'm making a point to like talk to everyone, like all every day and that type of stuff. So like Mion a few times has already told me like, what do you think is going to happen when our contract expires and that type of stuff. I want to see if I can push it to the full three years. Because your contract in Sandrock is only three years. So I'm, I'm just curious if you can push it to the three year mark. I'm sure you can. I don't know how much I'm supposed to clear here. Um, I forgot my axe. You've got to be kidding me. Well, we'll come back. I just, I want to check on my traps. Ooh, an Atlas Moth, we needed you. That one is an offer and a donate. I believe, in a gold one at that. Well, we will keep him to breed. I've always gotten more than the one, but just in case. Because I know I don't stand a chance catching it. So. We're at the mercy of a trap. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much to clear here. So I think we're going to do a full inventory, I guess. Or, you know, for stamina bar. Pickup noise in this game is satisfying, I will say. It is not as satisfying as like a, a Minecraft loop, like item bloop noise. Not that, that as satisfying as that noise. So I will say for Minecraft, there are other games that have satisfying noise, but there is no game that has better sound design than Minecraft. There are so many things in Minecraft that are just the best sounds I think I've ever heard in any game. Like, let me think, the bone block in Minecraft, good sound. The, um, uh, what's it called? The shroom lights in Minecraft, awesome sound. Um, any of the copper blocks, good sound. It's just they, they have truly the best sound design. I think that's probably why I think out of any type of game, I watch the most Minecraft content. I feel like this is a sound because it's great just to listen to and just hear people like talking about the game and that type of stuff. You don't have to pay attention that much. And I don't pay attention. It is literally just like listening like it's a podcast. Well, we've used our entire health bar. Oh, I said I was going to. Because like I said, I don't I don't know how much I'm supposed to clear. They said it would uh, increase my chance of getting the expensive flower. I've always gotten three, sometimes four of those flowers. So I'm not too worried. But, you know, I'll do it. Oh, I should pay attention. Oh, my food's at home. Okay, well, we're going to go home, get our food, get our axe, and come back.
Hello, grasshopper. I will also, while we're here, see what of which of these to give Eleanor. I want to, oh, because I'm out of inventory space. I keep forgetting that's over here. Just in case, we're gonna keep this. I, this is worth next to nothing. That's what I have found. It says worth next to nothing. Um, I could keep the large butter. Oh, because I have a spreadsheet I plug all this into. Um, that's how I figure out how much things are worth. Okay, I'm gonna pause really quick and see what to give Eleanor. I shall return. All right. Sorry if you saw the screen flash. She will take any of these. We're going to give her this. And she wants that. We'll give, we'll give her this. Those are her gifts tomorrow. Uh, so I need to check what needs to be donated. That needs to be donated. Okay. Uh, mum, 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 rich itties. I wonder how much the Atlas Moth is. I am very curious how much it is. Actually, I might give her... I'm going to give her the higher quality, I think. I think we'll give her these two. And then sell all of this, except for this. I believe it's any bug. She's like one of the few people who wants bugs. Um, so she's going to get a bug. Careful what you ask for. You just might get it. That is not even worth anything. Um, that was a gift I was saving, I think. We'll have the burger. No, we'll have the fish taco. We might go fishing. I'm just gonna eat these and get my 10 stamina. I'm so happy I went and found that seal to be given these. Like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, yeah. That is one of the ones where it's like, Was it really worth it to, to go hunt the seal down? No, <laughs> but I did. And it was worth it. Oh, I keep thinking I'm forgetting something, but I'm not forgetting it. It's just, I need to duplicate it just in case. Okay, we're gonna go back up to the top. Eliminate some of the logs now that I finally have an axe. Well, I guess on the bright side, I will be set for fall. I mean, nope, winter. Winter. And that's the season I'm talking about. It be done. All right. Snail. Um, we are going to continue our route finally. Got distracted there for a second. I don't know if this needs to be done. This is where I found the other one. So this to me is almost more worthwhile. So 
So we will clear here. And then we will clear the other forest area. Okay. Well, we have another trap over here, don't we? Because I saw, I thought... The a rare bug one here one day here. I can't see trees, but do a better job disappearing. I command it. Um, we need to eat this. The music really wants to work today. It's like the music officially like ended its little strike. I don't know. Is today just a fluke? Possibly. I remember that one episode where I didn't have music almost half the episode. That was a thing. And with whatever time is left, we're just going to go fishing right here. I believe there was a fish I wanted to catch. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something. But I don't know what it would be. Because I've done the birthdays for tomorrow. I mean, for um, Raphael, we literally have to make him a bouquet. So that's like two seconds. I'm not worried about it. There we go. And it's fishing time. I don't remember what fish I needed here. I just remember I needed a fish here. I might be wasting time. <laughs> That is literally all that I remember. I do, I should have, maybe, oh my, um, I maybe should have, oh, it's a legendary sea bass. Maybe I should have possibly upgraded my uh, not the fishing, the net, the bug net. I maybe should have done that today. Because, <gasps> yeah, I mean, I want everything. Because, you know, the, this is on silver. Then that would take that to silver. And then maybe I wouldn't have to rely so heavily upon the traps. I was, I still will. I don't know who I'm, I'm kidding with that one. I don't know why. The bug catching, I, I don't know what... I think it's because I like to... I like to just like run through the world. And so if you're doing that, then you're never gonna catch anything. Like, cause that's what normally happens to me is I just kind of run through like, just like we and yeah. Okay, we're out of stamina, so we're gonna go. Part of me is tempted to go get that thing at the bottom though. Um, I did kind of forget about it. Where was it? Over here? Was it here? It was. Please be bronze. Please be bronze. <gasps> Thank you. This game decided it finally wanted to take have some mercy on the bronze on me. Thank you. I have some extra stamina now. That is probably more stamp, more bronze I have gotten in like one single like group of hitting things. And that is so sad, but true. It's so sad. <laughs> but it is so true. Um... Nope, 
that didn't need to go there, and that didn't need to go there, and this didn't need to go there. I only wanted to look inside. And then go to this one. That was what we wanted, game. Um, this can be sold. That, that. Keeping, keeping. Selling, selling. Keeping, selling, selling, selling. Don't need the fish. Yeah, I don't need any of the fish. Good. Going to bed. Let's see how we did. 17, we're definitely averaging about 1,700 a day. 17, 1,800, which is pretty good. And it is their birthday, so we will have to find them. We will make Raphael. His bouquets, we're moving these to the hot bar. We will, I think, rainy and wet tomorrow. Nice. I think we also need to... Uh, I'm in need of... Ugh. You. You. Okay. I'm in need of an arapaima. The fish looks like colder when it's usually out after sunset. Um, can you please bring me a sunflower? Oliver and I are making his dad a sunflower crown for his birthday. The problem is we don't have any sunflowers. You need to deliver it to me before the 26th. Okay, because that's his birthday. Valentina. I'm in the doghouse now, so to speak. I forgot Anne's birthday and I need to fix this fast. Unfortunately, I'm too busy myself, so I'm going to need your help to find me some green tea. One is fine. If you can find it, I'll owe you a big one. So that's why I bought the green tea a while ago. Okay. Well, we're done with the crops. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. I wish we had access to the larger um, sprinklers, because I would 100% put a sprinkler on this tree. So, like, I had to do literally nothing. I keep forgetting to do this. It was on my a note of things to do. I noticed this the other day, or actually when I was editing the video, I noticed it. Yeah. Do I have any sunflowers left? Because it feels like we got that in the wrong season. Aren't sunflowers a summer crop? And they are, yeah, summer. And yeah, that feels like it's the wrong season. Like altogether the wrong season. Okay, we need this also. What do we need for a mill? 20 scrap, 50 wood, and two bronze bars. Actually, do... I don't think they allow you to do two things at once. I am almost positive I, they don't allow you to do two things at once. Yeah, we're, we'll just leave it. Um, this. Okay, we're gonna go take care of animals. Get going, fish. Or it's an eel. I don't even remember if I had... If one of them had multiplied yet. Or the uh, eel. I don't remember. I have it on my sheet somewhere. I'm just a little lazy. Um... 
Come on, guys. You? Nice Bessie. Hello, Ba. Okay. Still need to get that bronze, um, the bronze milk, large milk or whatever. I think that's what I was waiting. I've been waiting for. Nothing else for the mayonnaise machines. Okay. Thank you. That makes it. That's the wrong chest altogether. This actually makes me wonder if here the whole time I thought my music was bad, could it just be the summer music was bad? Because. The fall music has been kicking on often. Could that be it? Have I solved it? We're going to make another bee house if I can, because I forgot to do that. That is so much ore. I thought I needed honey for that. Oh, that was... I remember... That was these. Okay. So I waited for nothing. There we go. Um, nope. We will put some flowers through it. That's canola. We'll do some of these. No one likes violets. Yeah, that was for... My, my brain is like just literally had the like aha moment. Um, that was for the flying insect traps. Is this done yet? I forgot how many days it was. Two. Okay. I think it was two. We're going to go. So we have a bunch of stuff to find. We need to find Valentina. We need to find. Who is it? We need to find. Ugh. You and your Arapaima can kind of go to hell. Paul. Um, no, that was Jim. Sorry, Jim. Paul needs a green tea, which we have. Valentina needs a sunflower, which we have. We will also need to find Raphael. And we need to find Eleanor. Who's right there? Uh... Blacksmith. Valentina is at school, but I can't get there yet. And Paul is there. So we're going to go. To here. He wanted green tea. And then we will still have to go down into town to get, uh, see if there's an errand. Who's over here, right? Lexi, so you just saved my life. Thank you so much. I'll always remember this favor. If you need anything, please let me know. That was an automatic, that was automatic. Okay, next. Raphael. I was looking for Raphael. That was a person I was looking for. He is here. I probably literally went right past him. Hmm. I don't know what that was about. It's like. And that was like, nope, we're going to work. Nope, nope. Oh, we are going to work. No, no, we're not going to work. It was a little indecisive. Okay, Raphael. I passed him. 
He was up there. Oh well, well I wanted to go through this anyway. Wow, this is like my main harvestable, scavenger bowl item place. And it was a big no. Almost don't recognize him in his fall clothes. Have you uh, seen the new clothing items? They're, well, they're really nice. At my cousin's store, you should check it out. Happy birthday. For my birthday, you're so thoughtful. Thank you. For my birthday, you're so thoughtful. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, that was probably a lot of points with him. Um, Eleanor. Can I get into here yet? Yes, we'll go there next. Eleanor is right there. Okay. Valentino wants a sunflower. Valentina wants a sunflower. Sometimes I want to be a scientist like Ling. Oh, her dress is so cute. Her summer dress is cuter though. So I can have my own lab and study whenever I want. Tell people about it. But I also want to be like Mr. Barnes. He teaches kids like me in grades projects. Thank you. Do I have to collect this one? Wow, we have that many hearts with Anne? How? How? Hmm. I wonder if the Paul quest gives you points with her too. Oh, I went to go here. Oh, we're just going to walk. We're so close. If I can't walk this distance, that is like a new level of laziness. Hey, Betty. Any goods here? I need to level this stuff up again. I also need to go here for this scene. I know I was slacking on his scenes. Either one is great. I think the blender will last a long time. One of our best. Um, yeah. Blender again, probably. I've been spending way too much lately, but what, what is one more, right? What do you think, Lexi? Um, I have not, it's it's really not my business how you want to spend your salary. Blender, whatever Luke said, shopping again. Uh, I don't know which one to ask. I'll do this one or true or say. That wasn't asked, that was say. An opinion would be nice though. Anyway, I think I'll take the blender. Could you wrap it up, please? I can deliver it to your house later if you want to go around town first. Oh, no need. I will take it with me. Thanks, though. As seen on Coral Shopping. I'm guessing he's a shopaholic. This is what is on sale. So we need to to complete the kitchen, uh, the the cooking, um, uh, altar. There we go. You actually, if you don't wanna, if you don't want to. If you want to complete them all, you do actually need to buy all every one of those, which sucks. I actually looked into that because I was like, no way do they actually want you to spend that much money on one altar. And they do an artichoke. I don't think our artichokes are going to be ready. Are you actually open? The guy never works. 
He's like the equivalent of RDO. He just never works. Still need to give Eleanor a gift. Amaranth. Cranberries. Pumpkins. Hot peppers. Sweet potato. Rice. Basil. Barley. Grapes. Beet. Orchid. Eggplants. Taro. Artichoke. Five days. Nope. Where is Miss Alunor? Still in town. Hmm. We will give her her, her her gifts first, and then we will go check the rest of our bug nets. Ooh, an atlas moth. Oh, just a moth. Okay. Just a moth. Wah, wah. She does. No, she likes these, I think. We'll talk. These days, the town rank is all, is all what Sunny's been talking about. Every climb starts with a small step. Moving to D rank shows we're on the right path. What a, when a caterpillar spins its chrysalis, it's an ugly little thing, but when, then a beautiful butterfly emerges. The lychees are the same, ugly on the outside, but soft and sweet on the inside. That's some, that's her, a loved gift for her as a lychee, I think it is. Oh, well, I don't know if that's a good, very good analogy, to be honest. I just know I love those little fruits. She does. They are a loved gift. I'm glad we have a good coffee bar in the Starlet Town, but to tell you the truth, I much prefer green tea. Don't tell Raj. You're just all the gossip today. Green tea has a lot of health benefits. It may even protect the brain from aging, but mainly I like the taste. A birthday gift for me. This is so sweet of you, and clearly you know my taste. I'll cherish it. Ta-da! I don't know how I feel about the double birthday gifts. I don't know. It's not cheating if it's in the game. But it feels cheaty. But it's not cheating if it's in the game. I mean... I mean, it's a thing because I, I, I've been able to do it, but it even says, I believe, on the wiki that birthday gifts count differently than other gifts. But it still feels like I'm cheating. I guess I'll clear here while we're clearing things. Gosh, this town's going to be clearer than my yard. True story, unfortunately. <laughs> I do need to, like, designate a nice chunk of time to really clean that yard. It, it, it's reaching the point where I should. Okay, we're done. Um... I do think there's a scene I'm missing, but I don't know if I'm close enough friends with them. We'll go hop into the inn and see if it, I get it. I don't think we've gotten it yet because we're not close enough friends with them, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, this is it. It's, it's really not a big deal. Just call and ask where they are. No, it's not like they're late. The blankets are supposed to get here today. You need to calm down and let me handle this. I'll call them tomorrow. Well, no, the blankets were supposed to be here by today. I don't know why you don't just call them real quick. At least confirm they did send them. I'm with I'm with Alice here. I call until it's like, I need to call any company. It is like almost to the point where the thing is late or it's missing. I hate calling because I hate being on hold. So I'm with her. No, Suki. I don't want to bother them yet, especially when they haven't done anything wrong. See, I'm with her. 
I don't bother if there's nothing wrong yet. Impatience is an awful thing. It's just chill and they'll get there eventually. Ah, oh, Lexi costs at a bad time. Suki and I are waiting for a shipment of blankets and Suki thinks we should complain. No, I don't. I don't want to complain. I just want to confirm they've been sent. What do you think, Lexi? Should give them a call and find out? No, uh, I wouldn't call either. Could you just email them? I can't decide. I would say this. You're two peas in a pod. All right, then we'll wait till tomorrow. But if they're not here by noon, I'm calling my, them myself. That's what you should have done initially. Mm-hmm. I nod in solidarity. The character agrees. <laughs> yeah, I don't call unless it's like absolutely necessary. I, I just, I don't. Some of it is social anxiety. Some of it is anxiety in general, but I just, I don't like being on hold. I don't like talking to people on phones. It's a lot of things. Alrighty then. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna start making our way to the traps because it is two o'clock. And we still haven't checked the majority of our traps yet. So we're going to go this way. Hey, Millie. Oh my goodness. Have you seen the new clothing collection around town and those decor pieces? I'm going to, I'm going on a shopping spree. On your way to town, Lexi. Uh, you can see all kinds of butterflies and birds from here. Okay, does she really like that I was talking to her or something? Or did I level up with her? Is that what the heart means? Okay. Taking a pit stop. We would not be able to catch Jim's Aeropima at this time of the day. Or in this weather, actually. It needs to be storm or rain or participation of some type, I believe. So, we are just emptying the pockets and we're going this way. I did check on the animals. Yes, because there's butter. We might go this way and end and end at the mine and maybe do a floor, maybe just go for some ore. Because we do need bronze. Shocking, I know. Okay, we're just going to do a big whoop D around here. A whoop D, I guess that's a word now. Sure. Um, we're going to do whatever that was around here. I think I have one of those for Ben. Because even though he's gone, he still sends us a thing that he wants one of those mushrooms. I am stuck on a tree. Okay. I don't have a trap up here anymore, but I'm going to verify that I don't have a trap up here anymore. No. Still getting this, the wind, nope, fall, the fall trap locations down. Oh, that's like, it's part of the chest. Okay, I'm like trying to collect part of the chest. Who's here? You. 
In this line of work, there's no time for dilly-dallying. I face the beast head on and that's what keeps me alive. So are you trying to in a way say that I am dilly-dallying? Because I am. Because really, if you think about it, that's what the, the, our character does a lot. We walk around and socialize. We're like the social butterfly. And really, we do. I mean, quite a lot. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going to go to the mines, I think. Oh, we have one more trap. It wouldn't matter if we didn't get this trap, but I checked it. I feel like I'm forgetting one, but there's one in town. There's one there. I think we got them all. Hey, Scott. Rock climbing here? Hmm, I guess you could. We really wanted to. I don't recommend it though. Honestly, rock climbing is pretty good comparing for working in the cavern. But it does seem dangerous to do it here. Oh, okay, I have a joke for you. I've been waiting to tell you this one ever since I first saw you come into the cavern. What did the miner say when he walked into the cavern? Wow, this place rocks. <laughs> Where's the laugh? I'm just going to walk away. I was walking away, Scott. Itchy ear. Oh, he's an interesting character. He really is. He's also like every single museum professional I've ever worked with. Because they all are very unique individuals. Museum professionals. Like they... Museum professionals and engineers are their own breed. They're like a subspecies of humans. Like my father is a mechanical engineer. And engineers are very smart people. But common sense is something that they all lack. And it's actually very humorous. Like when you when you talk to them and they ask a question, the questions they ask are the questions that no one would ever ask you about that topic, but they're funny because it's like that's what you got out of that. Like it's just it's actually very funny. Wow. Well, I've already hit that once, so we'll just go down. And the nice thing about engineers, though, is that, unlike museum professionals, is that engineers can fix anything. Like, anything you throw at them, they can fix. Except the problem is that anything you throw at engineers, they can fix. So that means sometimes they feel the need to fix things that other normal people would just say, you know, it's not worth fixing. And so then you're stuck with all this stuff that is so old. Did I one tap that thing? I think I did. So like, my dad will fix things like coffee pots, whereas I'm just like, that's like a $60 coffee pot. I'll buy a new coffee pot when you're going to spend over $30 on a part. You know? One of those things. And like they also feel the need to keep every type of cord. Like I remember growing up, he had a drawer of cords of all different types and kinds because you just, you never knew when perchance you just might need that specific cord. So it was like phone cords and cable cords. Just silly things. And it's like, 
like all of it's such outdated technology, but we had to keep it. <laughs> wow, I'm taking a lot of uh, tick damage right here. So it was always funny. But like, I mean, you never had to take your car to a mechanic. There was really no job that they could. So that was the positive. Okay. We're on level 23. I think we should be able to get down. I do. The uh, node RNG has worn off a little bit in this mine. Like we were doing really good with the nodes and not so much anymore. Not so much. You tried. Wow, we are actually taking a decent amount of damage. Hmm. Hey, it is what it is. I, oh. I didn't see the rock there. I'm like, why can't I move forward? Like, why? Because there was a rock there. Genius, I tell you. Um, we will have a lot of energy still. Part of me wants to farm that guy a little bit. That's normally how I level up. My combat is I let this guy spit a bunch of stuff out at me. Well, that was lucky. Okay. Oh, so you lose your aggro. Well, that sucks. So. If I want to harvest one of them, I need to turn the aggro back on. Good to know. Drop a bat wing. I don't even think they can. Okay, we're going. You can stay down there, piece of wood. In a way, we're going through the mines a lot faster than I think I have in any of my other saves. And I'm not trying to. It is just kind of happening. I'm hoping to see that maw. I don't remember what... <coughs> Excuse me, that's a wasp. What time of day they appear, so... We're gonna go empty the pockets. It really isn't worth fishing. Um, yeah, we're just gonna empty the pockets, make sure there's nothing in here to donate. No, 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 no. And this one. Sell, 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 sell. I will make sure I still have some of those for Ben, and I do. Okay. Like I said, you get like a while because he does. He messages you and then he leaves. So it's like you got a while to work on it. I don't know if I have a large mayonnaise. 
Like I said, I just keep a bunch of stuff and see how it adds up. The main problem is that they're low level. That is the problem over anything else. Is how low level everything is. Like I think in a couple instances, our fruit or vegetables are at, were actually worth more points. Yeah, but I, I, I've never won the Autumn Festival or Harvest Festival ever. So I, I doubt we would win even if I sat there and kept crunching numbers. I still don't think we would win. I don't know if it's, it's, it's I think, like I said, yeah, I think you need 96 points. And even with this, there was one year, one season or one save where I did get a silver one of those. And that was worth a decent amount of points. But yeah, we haven't had that much luck with that yet. So the keg, finally, and level two sprinklers. Oh my gosh. Leveled up with these two, 2,000. Very good. There we go. Like, oh, I thought I hit that a couple times now. I guess not. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coral Island. Next episode, we will have our silo. So we probably, I'm going to probably get a mill. Um, It's either going to be the mill or starting to level up the um, barn or the coop to get the next animal. It's going to be a while before we can get the next animal because edible, edible or animal? Animal. Because they do, the price increases a few thousand every upgrade with the animals. So it gets to a point where it's ridiculous that like you're saving up for like almost a month to buy one stinking animal. But we'll also be having the keg so we can start another type of production. So we'll probably build a couple kegs if I can. I've actually never got to the point of making the kegs. So anyways, so I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself and bye for now. And we're stretching. Mm -hmm.